Hey YouTube, um, in this video I'm going to walk through how to make a battery sense cable for the FT-857D radio. Um, if you have the radio, you probably notice that it comes with this ginormous cable. Um, and so I use this, you know, when it's operating more as a, a base station. Um, but I wanted to put together something a little bit more portable. Uh, when I take it uh, in, in mobile use. So I'm going to walk through now uh, all the pieces and parts you need for this project. All right, as far as the parts that you're going to need, uh, you'll need a six pin power connector. This one I got from PowerWorks. Um, it comes with the, the male end and then it comes with some of these uh, female pins that you're going to need to crimp. Um, you'll need a little piece of extra wire you have laying around. I think this is a 16 gauge wire. And then you'll also need, um, you could probably do this with another one of these kits, but I just bought a fully assembled um, one of these with the power poles on the end from PowerWorks. As far as tools go, you're going to need a crimper to crimp uh, the pins. You'll need a wire stripper. Uh, to strip the wires. Uh, if you don't have either of these, you could probably get by with uh, a pair of pliers to do the crimping and a, probably a razor blade or a pair of sharp scissors to do the, the wire stripping. And then for a more permanent connection, I'm going to use a soldering iron. Uh, you could probably get by with just twisting the wires tight, um, but I'll use a soldering iron for this project. So this project stems from a very brief description uh, in the 850-70 the operating manual. Uh, in this version, which is the US model, it's on page 34. And right here under input jack, uh, right here it says that this jack has a transmit power control terminal. And if you connect pin three bat sense to the DC power of the DC power jack to ground, it'll switch to 20 watts or 10 watts uh, of output power. So that's what I want to do. That way, if I'm operating uh, off of a battery, uh, I don't want to draw too much power because uh, you can see it's uh, under full power. It's 22 amps. Uh, but, you know, you could go in and adjust each frequency band manually. Uh, but if you do it this way, it will auto adjust across uh, all bands that you might be operating on. So less, uh, less thought involved. And there's a couple other things that it does as well. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this pin grounded. All right, so the first thing I did uh, is I, I hooked, I've actually plugged this up to the radio and I looked through these open holes and I looked at where the extra male pin is on the AC radio and I took a Sharpie marker and I just ran it through the inside of that hole right there. That way I make sure that I put the wire in the right hole if I don't have the radio around. Uh, the other thing I did is just used uh, a razor blade or the wire stripper and just stripped off maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe just over a quarter of an inch of, uh, of wire uh, from the, the black wire just to the right of the, the hole that I marked. And we'll, uh, we'll use that in the next step. All right, gonna start by crimping the wire into the connector right here. All right, so we have it crimped now, and we'll go ahead and insert this into this, right where we've got the, the hole marked. Okay, so I've now inserted the wire into the pin slot right there and now I'm going to strip this wire and wrap it around this uh, piece that I already just cut away. Alright, uh, so I clipped the wire, wrapped it around, soldered it and uh, sprayed a little uh, liquid electrical tape on top. So not the, not the cleanest looking at this point but that's where this nice heat shrink boot comes in. Alright, so we move the boot back on and so this is the, uh, the final mod, and you can see that there's a the extra pin. So let's uh, try it out and see if it works. 
So using the uh, power supply, you can see that uh, it says 13.5 volts in the upper right hand corner. So now what I'll do is I will just disconnect uh, the cable and replace it with the new cable that we made and we'll see what changes. Alright, so now with this mod, you can see that it says 13.5 and there's a little battery symbol. Um, and you can also see that it, the backlight turns off after a few seconds to conserve power. Um, and it will also um, have taken down the uh, transmit power on all of the uh, frequencies. So hopefully uh, you found this mod helpful. And uh, if you have any feedback, you can leave uh, comments in the, in the uh, section below. Thanks.